everyone welcome to today's tutorial in this tutorial we will learn how to create a flip coin app before we move forward let's see a quick preview of how this app actually works as the coin flips we can keep a track of how many times it lands on heads or tails there's also a reset button to start fresh anytime so let's begin with today's tutorial Let's start by setting up the basic structure of our Flipcoin app using HTML. We'll wrap everything inside a main container to keep our content centered and organized. At the top, we'll add a stats section that will display how many times heads or tails have come up, so the user can keep a track of the results. Next, we'll create a coin element that holds two faces, heads and tails, is showing up an image. Finally, we'll add two buttons, one to flip the coin and another to reset the stats. This simple and clean structure lays the foundation we need to style and bring up our app to life with JavaScript. Now that our HTML structure is ready, it's time to make it look good with CSS. I start by applying a global reset to remove default paddings and margins, so everything looks consistent across the browsers. Then I set a clean and modern form to give our app a fresh feel. To make the background lively and eye-catching, I add two tone gradients that splits colors evenly. Next, I focus on the container. I center it perfectly on the page using absolute positioning and a translate transform. This makes the sure app looks balanced on any screen. I also add padding and rounded corners to give it a friendly card-like shape. Along with the subtle shadow to lift it off the background. The perspective property is important here because it allows us to create a 3D flipping effect later. For the stats section, I align the text to the right and add some spacing and color so the numbers stand out clearly. 
then for the coin itself i set its size and enable 3d transform styles so that the coin can flip the two coin faces heads and tails are stacked perfectly on top of each other and positioned absolutely so that they overlap i rotated the tails face 180 degrees on the x axis to prepare it for the flipping animation all the styles work together to give a solid visual foundation we need for the movement and interactivity Now that our coin and layout look great, it's time to bring the coin to life with animations and style the buttons for interaction. I am creating two separate animations, one for the heads and one for the tails, so that when the coin flips, it spins realistically and distinctly depending on the result. Using keyframes with rotax x, I spin the coin multiple full rotations to create a smooth flipping effect. The difference in rotation degrees helps the animations feel dynamic and natural. Next, I style the buttons so they are easy to use and visually clear. I arrange them side by side using flexbox, which gives a consistent spacing, no matter the screen size. Each button has padding, borders, and rounded corners for a polished look. The flip button has a solid background color to make it stand out as a primary action, while the reset button is outlined to show it its secondary. Also prepare a disabled style for flip animation, which we will use later in JavaScript to prevent users from flipping the coin multiple times during the animation.
Now that our HTML and CSS are ready, let's add interactivity with JavaScript. The first thing I do is select all important elements we will be working with. The coin container itself, the flip and reset buttons, and the text elements that display account for head and tails. Selecting these elements allows us to manipulate them dynamically in response to user actions. Next, I declare two variables, heads and tails, and initialize them with zero. These variables will keep track of how many times the coin lands on each of the side. Setting up these variables now prepares us to update the count as the user flips the coin, making the app fully interactive. Now let's add the core functionality, flipping the coin. I start by attaching a click event listener to the flip button. When the user clicks this button, we we'll generate a random number between 0 and 1 using a mat.random function. If the number is less than 0.5, we consider it has otherwise tails. This stimulates 50-50 chance of real coin toss. Before triggering the animation, I reset any ongoing animation by setting it to none. Then, force a reflow by accessing offset width. This ensures the animation restarts properly every time the button is clicked. Depending on the result, I apply the corresponding spin animation, either for heads or tails. At the same time, I update the count variable for heads or tails. To avoid multiple flips during the animation, I temporarily disable the flip button and use set timeout to update the screen stats after 3 second animation finishes. Finally, let's implement the reset functionality and some helper functions to keep our app user friendly. When the user button is clicked, I immediately stop any ongoing coin animation by setting it to none. Then I reset both the heads and tail counters to zero and update the display to reflect these changes right away. Next, I define the update stats function which updates the text content showing how many times heads or tails has occurred. This function is called after each flip and after a reset to keep the UI in sync with the data. Lastly, the disable function, the disable button function temporarily disables the flip button for 3 seconds. The duration of our coin flip animation to prevent users from spamming the flip button. After the timeout, it re-enables re the button so the user can flip again.
and with this our coin flip app is fully functional and ready to use and that's a wrap on our flip coin app we have built a complete interactive experience by combining html for structure css for styling and javascript for the logic that brings it all to life if you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more such videos